Hi and welcome. I have a question from a group member which is how can I save my relationship if I'm the only one wanting to save it, if I'm the only one trying, if I'm the only one not giving up? Which is a really great question and I don't know whether you know this about me and the work that I do but I would say around 30% of the people that I work with, 40% of the people that I work with, I just work with one person in the relationship. Because it's not always that two people want to save the relationship at the same time. Not always two people want to and feel the same at the same time. Sometimes one person can be checked out. They can say, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. They can switch off. They can feel hopeless. They can avoid. So I do often guide people single-handedly to transform their relationship day in, day out. So if you're in this situation, don't despair. There are definitely some things you can do and there are definitely some things you can avoid to support you, which is what I'm gonna be sharing in this video. So the first thing that you want to be doing is to getting into positive actions. Actions speak louder than word and actions can change feelings, thoughts, images that they may have about you. Right now, they may have a very negative image about you, about the relationship, about their future with you. And so the only way you're gonna change that thought or image that they have in their head is by showing them the opposite. Nothing you say is gonna change their mind. Begging, pleading, telling them that they're wrong, over talking the future, this is not gonna help them. No one's gonna change their mind by what you say. It's all about taking positive actions. So asking yourself, are you taking the right actions and what positive actions are you taking? I would say that's number one. Number two would be to avoid neediness at all costs. Neediness is unattractive, it's draining for the other person, it pushes them further away, it makes them shut down. What is neediness? There, there's lots of things that can make up neediness, but it can be over-talking the relationship, over-apologizing, sending apology letters and apology texts and crying and begging. It can be over-analyzing everything and then sending them your interpretation of all the analyzing that you're doing. It can be being too available. It can not giving them any space and suffocating them. So making sure that you're not in that needy energy. That would be that. The third thing is to become the most attractive version of yourself possible. And this is about focusing on positive energy, clearing your negative thoughts, your insecurities, your negative energy, working on your health and fitness, looking your best, feeling your best, doing things to lift yourself up, increase your energy, boosting your interests. And there's many different strategies and plans that I help individuals do to create and help them to become more attractive. And then the fourth thing you wanna do is create positive times, positive scenarios, positive family times, positive couple times, in creating new positive energy in the home. Like what other tools and actions can you take to help to give the relationship, to give yourself and life the best boost you can give to show them that they wanna stay with you. Not because you need them, not because you're not gonna be able to cope without them, but because a life with you is gonna be positive, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be beneficial for everyone. I hope that helps you. I have a lot more, a lot more tips, but of course it works best if I'm working with someone and I can tailor them around what they're saying, what they're doing, your relationship strengths, your relationship weaknesses, and things like that. If you would like to find out more about working one-on-one -on -one with me, you can go to my website and book a free call. You can PM me if you're in my Facebook group. Love to hear from you. And if you have any tips on how to save a relationship on your own, if you've had any successes in this, please drop your tips, advice, support, questions on this so we can all continue this dialogue on this topic. 
from my heart to yours have a wonderful day ahead thanks for watching bye